A man, a man was out there speeding and they stopped him and he said, look, hurry up and write me the ticket because I'm going to get back on it again. And he did. Caught him up the road a little bit further. Gave him an, another ticket. He said, this ain't going to stop me. That's what a lot of us are. We're going to do it our way. It's going to be my way or no way. But that's your choice. Huh? You have the choice in your lifestyle. <laughs> huh? Can't anybody make you, you know, can't anybody make you do nothing. Nobody, I mean, they can encourage you, they can entice you, but to make you do something, they can't make, you know one thing? The doctors can't make you take medicine. Some of you all are overweight, and you know you're overweight. Come on. And the doctor told you you need to lose that weight. Amen. Instead of you, amen, backing away from the table, <laughs> you get close to the table. And then when you go out, you know, you, you go out to old times and, you know, you get them pig feet. <laughs> Come on here. Come on. <laughs> And you know you got high blood pressure. You know you got, come on here. And you, you, you pile up the plate. You can always go back, but you think there's going to run out on you. So you're piling it up. And sit there and, amen, when you get up, you got to, you're holding your belly. Amen, tell me you can't hardly walk out. But that's your choice. And then when the doctor tell you, look, your time is short. Don't blame the doctor. You know, this affects me personally because I had a father. The doctor told my daddy, said, Willie, stop drinking. And said, if you don't stop drinking, you're going to die. But my daddy had a sister. And his sister said, boy, don't worry about it. The doctor doesn't know what he's talking about. He chose to believe his sister rather than the doctor. A few months later, I got a call and said, your daddy is seriously ill and he's in the hospital. And I went home and got there just in time. We put him in surgery. Came back 15 minutes later. Didn't take long. Said we could not do nothing for him and we just sewed him back up. And said, I'm giving him 90 days. To live. 90 days later, 89 days later, my father died. He chose a lifestyle. He chose a lifestyle. He made a choice. What about your choices today? Oh, God. Huh? Look at this. The Bible talks about this by. In Hebrews 11, 24, it said, By faith Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Here, a man was raised up in the king's house. Could have had everything and anything he wanted. And I mean, you the devil for giving that picture today. He's painting people a picture today and he make you want to think that the grass is greener on the other side. Amen. Let me tell you one thing. Don't be deceived today. Amen. The devil is a liar. He's the father of lies. Amen. He want to paint you a picture and make you feel like, well, this is better. 
But look at what he say here. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Let me tell y'all this today. You got to be careful of the choices you make. You got to be careful because number one, this world is, has a, something that's very, very enticing. The world offers you pleasure. And I'm not going to deny that. There's a lot of things that are enjoyable. But the end result of it can destroy you. Hmm? When you begin to think about this today, you got to make a choice. You got to decide for yourself. And a lot of times we are around people that, amen, let me tell you one thing. Don't be around people who's doing bad. Misery loves company. Come on. I don't want to be around nobody that's always crying broke. I don't want to be around people, amen, who talks negative all the time. Because guess what? It can have an effect on you. I, 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 some of y'all don't need to be on Facebook. Come on. Come on. Don't need to be on Facebook. Because sometimes what you read on Facebook influences you to respond in a negative way. And everything that look good ain't God. Every comment. You got to be careful what you say with your mouth. I mean, I know we say a lot of things when we get angry. Actions. Nobody can make you let me tell y'all, do anything. Whatever happens, that's what you want to do. That's in you. Oh, y'all done looking too good. Huh?